Also in Monroe County, the Pennsylvania State Trooper charged with using fake aliases and online accounts to patronize prostitutes was in court today. The judge ruled that there is enough evidence in the case to move forward, but not without first hearing from those involved. Reporter Brianna Strunk broke that story last month and has an update tonight. 26-year-old Samantha Monteforti is currently incarcerated in Northampton County. She took the stand, recalling a night in 2015 when she used heroin and passed out in her car. Prosecutors say six months later, the responding trooper, Benjamin Toff, used a law enforcement database to access Samantha's personal information without a legitimate purpose. He allegedly used two aliases to Facebook message Samantha, offering on multiple occasions to send money for sex. There's allegations uh, that we're treating very serious, uh, especially considering uh, the profession of the defendant. Samantha says they never met in person because there was no sex or money exchange. Toth's attorney wants the case dropped. My client will never plead guilty to this matter because he didn't do anything to be guilty of. According to these court papers, Toff's then wife was the one who originally tipped off local police, providing them with Toff's cell phone and sexually explicit Craigslist postings. She was in court and has this to say. And I just wanted to say on behalf of the Commonwealth, they've done a great job. And to all the women in the county, this was for you. Toff's attorney has a different take. You have an ex-wife who was upset that she is an ex-wife, and now what is she trying to do? She's trying to destroy her husband. In Tobyhanna Township, Brianna Strunk, Eyewitness News. Toth pleaded not guilty. He remains free on $5,000 unsecured bail. Toth is currently working on restricted duty at the Fern Ridge Barracks in Blakesley.